Hello TikTokers, I am the Christian Relationship Counsellor and I started this channel, like I said, for those Christians who um, struggle because people tend to take advantage of them, but I cover different subjects as well. And today's topic, um, I was inspired by how, how love, happiness and joy is taken for granted. In the grand scheme of things, it seems as though it's everywhere, but it's nowhere because people are just not taking advantage of it. People are not exploiting love, peace and joy. Instead, we have pain, we have heartache, we have disappointment, we have people letting us down. And today, I wanted to interpret uh, Matthew 14, 44, and it's about valuing the kingdom of heaven. Um, that phrase shows up in Matthew over 30 times. And for me, I was wondering, what is the kingdom of heaven? Let me just read the phrase. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure that a man discovered hidden in a field. In his excitement, he hid it again and sold everything he owned to get enough money to buy the field. So the treasure implies something of value. The kingdom is of value. The kingdom of heaven is something of value. And it was hidden in a large field. So it was very, very difficult to find. For that man to find it in a field, can you imagine how privileged he was? And he realized the value of it because he hid it again. I'm not quite sure if that was a good thing to do or it doesn't. The Bible doesn't give us any judgment. He, they don't make us, it doesn't imply whether it was right or wrong. We're just told the facts. And the facts are that he found the kingdom of, of heaven, he hid it again, and then he bought the whole field so that he wouldn't lose it, in, the, in my interpretation. I mean, the fact that you've hidden it again, are you going to find it? Maybe, maybe not. But I believe the kingdom of heaven is happiness, peace, love and joy. The, those qualities, those traits that people take for granted those traits that are often hidden among the pain that we feel, among the resentment that we feel. All of those, it, 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 it's, so, um, it's so difficult to explain, isn't it? Um, when the Bible says, in his excitement, it implies that he acted out of emotion. He was so excited to find the kingdom of heaven that he hid it again. And I'm not quite sure, once again, whether by hiding it again, that was a good move or a bad move. It reminded me of the, the um, parable about the talents, where the first one found it and found, had, was given five talents and he um, doubled it and invested it. The second one invested it as well and the third one hid it. And the, God chastised him for hiding it and took away that which he which he had found or with that which he had given it kind of reminded me of that when we were talking when the bible talks about him hiding the treasure should he have hidden it once he found it and sometimes we have to ask ourselves when we have these feelings for people sometimes we have feelings of love sometimes we have feelings of joy and we don't want to express it because we're afraid of being taken advantage of have you ever wanted to tell somebody i love you and then because you're afraid that they're going to get too uppity or mm. take you for granted mm. Mm. you know, you decide not to tell them that you decide not to tell them. And there's a song about that. Ever since I told you I loved you, you've changed. So I'm wondering if these feelings of um, this kingdom of heaven is about love, joy, happiness. Those things that you suppress because you're afraid to lose it. So you hide it again. You hide it and get the whole field so you think that you can extract it when you need it. Just a thought. Um, what else did I put here? How many people, Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. And you can tell by the so much violence and stuff going on. You know, the kingdom isn't of this world because it's so full of hate and um, jealousy and envy. And how many people in this world show unadulterated love to their fellow man? And that is why it's not of this world, in my opinion. 
because if it was of this world, we would all be taking advantage of it. Uh, repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 3 verse 2, if you want to taste peace, love and joy, you must repent, you must do better. But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut the kingdom of heaven in people's faces, for you neither enter yourselves nor allow those who would enter to go in. This tells me about those who do not give or show love and do not allow themselves to be loved. So um, we have the analogy of the kingdom of heaven being hidden and found in a field. It reminds me of the mustard seed parable something so small can be so powerful. So really, um, I just, w sorry to race this through, I have an appointment, but I, I just have a funny feeling that the kingdom of heaven is happiness, joy, peace, and love, and that it is such a rare find, and that when you find it, you must embrace it. You need to embrace it and use it to the full extent, spread it, spread love, spread peace, spread joy. And don't just keep it to yourself. Don't just keep it within. You know, that is why we have narcissists, because they, sorry to bring them back in, but they're all over the place. They're all over the Bible. But they hold it in. They don't want to share that love and joy and peace. They want it, but they don't want to share it. And even though their cup is overflowing with love, joy and peace and goodwill, they do not want to share it. They do not want to give any, it to anyone. And they don't want anybody else to have it. So anyway, I'm going to um, close this now. I do hope you subscribe to my channel. Um, it is brand new. Um, I do have some subscribers. So thank you for those who subscribed. And yes, I look forward to speaking to you again. Like I said, I'm sorry I had to rush. I do have an appointment. I'm starting work. So that's it for now. Bye bye.